We are going to do a collage project inspired by the Northern Lights. These are all photographs of the Northern Lights that, yes, that is really happening. What are the Northern Lights? You may have heard about the Northern Lights. Um, you might have been lucky enough to see them, but you probably don't know what causes them. The Northern Lights, also called Aurora Borealis, are colored lights that appear in the northern sky, kind of like nature's fireworks. The Northern Lights are caused by electrons being blown out by the solar wind. Sounds technical, right? Think of it this way. It's like the sun burping out these really small particles, the electrons, into the air. These tiny electrons mix with the gases in the Earth's atmosphere, which makes them glow. For materials, you will need one white piece of paper, construction paper, um, different colors, kids' markers, a pencil, scissors, glue, a paintbrush. If you don't have a paintbrush, you can use a rolled up paper towel and a small cup of water. To begin, you're going to make your sky. Using kids markers, use the photos of the northern lights to inspire your own sky. Often, northern lights are green, pink, purple, blue, sometimes red. Fill up two-thirds of your white paper. Using a paintbrush or rolled up paper towel, begin to paint over your sky with water. Experiment with drips and different brush strokes. This will not work with permanent markers. You have to have water-soluble kids' markers in order for the water to work its magic. When you're done, put your paper somewhere flat to dry. Pick out two colors of construction paper and one black paper. We're going to start to make our hills. Tear strips with your two colors. These are going to be the hills or mountains. I love how the torn edges of the paper look like the outline of real mountains. With the black paper, use a pencil. I used a white pencil so you could see better. To draw the trunks of tall pine trees. Then cut them out as triangles. After that, you can cut smaller triangles along the edges to make it look like branches. Now it's time to put it all together. Make sure your sky paper is dry. Glue down your hills by layering the three torn pieces of paper. It will look like hills going off into the distance. I like to decide where I will put the paper before I glue so I can move them around if I need to. Now glue your black pine trees down. They are black because they are in silhouette. That means you can only see the outline of something because there is no light on it. Think of the way trees look at sunset. The trees are in front of the hills because they are closest to us. In this collage, we created space in a landscape on a flat piece of paper. Here are three important things to remember to make space. One, overlapping. Overlapping is when you put one piece of paper in front of another. The paper that is on top is closest to you. This blue mountain is the furthest away from us because it is behind all the other pieces of paper. The black trees overlap all of the hills. They are in front. The bottom blue hill overlaps the purple. This blue hill is in front of the purple hill. The placement on your paper can also show space. Usually, the higher something is on your paper, the further away it is. So this back blue mountain is higher up on the paper than the front blue mountain. In this case, the trees are higher than the mountain, so it's not always the case, but often it is. 
And the last way we learned is by size. In general, the closer something is, the bigger it will be on your paper. In real life, we know that a hill is larger than a tree, but our trees look bigger than the hills because they are closest to us. This hill is very far away. I hope you enjoyed playing with collage and thinking about the northern lights, and I look forward to seeing what you make.